I'm Dr Beaker. I understand you've come to see me about some information on chlamydia. Well, if I just have a look at your file here. Yes, right. Well, what I can tell you about chlamydia is it's otherwise known as a silent disease because there are little or no symptoms. Uh, it's transmitted through sexual contact and seminal and vaginal fluids, uh, also through oral, vaginal and anal sex. Uh, it doesn't spread through casual contact, such as shaking hands, so no need to panic there. But it does, however, spread through manual masturbation and sex toys. Uh, sometimes there are no symptoms, so you don't know. But if there are, they are things such as unusual discharge, abdominal pain, pain while urinating, vaginal bleeding, flu-like symptoms, nausea, bleeding after sex, that sort of thing. Uh, it is a bacterial infection uh, of the urethra and cervix, and it can sometimes affect the rectum, eyes and throat. Uh, you must have regular health, uh, sexual health checks if you're under 25 years old, which you are, and if you've had different partners, which you have. Uh, the Ministry of Health advises that you will need either a low vaginal swab uh, or a cervical swab done, and sometimes they can even do it from a urine specimen. Uh, it is bacterial and not viral, therefore you will need antibiotics. And do remember that if you're on antibiotics, you must uh, use condoms if you're having sex to avoid pregnancy because the uh, antibiotics will reduce the reliability of the pill. Uh, you need to abstain from sex, or if not, if you can't hold out that long, you will need to use condoms. Uh, you need to have your partner checked as well because it's a vicious circle of infection if you don't. And you will need to have a recheck after three months of treatment. Uh, now, there are a few complications with chlamydia that you do need to know about. Uh, if untreated, it can progress to something called PID. Do you know what PID is? No? Okay. It is uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, which can cause permanent damage. Uh, you will have chronic pelvic pain, infertility, and sometimes ectopic pregnancies. Uh, adverse effects can happen before the infection is found, and in women, it is way more serious. It can be passed from mother to child during vaginal birth and can cause pneumonia in the baby, which we don't want. Uh, it can also cause skin lesions, swelling of the eyes, and in rare cases, swelling of the urethra in the baby. Uh, it can remain in your body for months or years if not treated. Okay, does that answer your questions? Thank you. Bye-bye.